welcome back. Uh, if you're watching this video, thank you. I really appreciate it. I'm trying to get this channel going, so if you're watching this, thank you. This really helps. Today I'm going to be talking about my uh, Lego Republic gunship. This is the 2013 variation. It is the third Lego gunship that Lego has come out with. This one is strictly based on the Episode 2 variation from Attack of the Clones. This set originally comes with five minifigures, however, these are the three that survived my, um, my seven years of having this Lego set and it being disassembled in my bin. So, um, I'll put pictures of the minifigures I do not have up on screen so you can see those. Um, but for right now, we have a clone captain, so this is from the original set. This is from the first assault on Geonosis before the clones had any sort of Jedi um, generals or commanders or anything like that. So this is the original um, clone captain. I don't know if this will show up on camera, but he is extremely, extremely yellowed. And that's just from being played with just in the box of my Legos forever. And there we go. It's got the very old, very worn, generic clone Stormtrooper angry face. We'll set him back down here. Next up, we have Padme Amidala. This is also from episode two. She's got, you know, Got a nice printing on the back there. The ripped shirt from the Geonosian Arena. This minifigure also comes with two faces. So it's a slightly annoyed face and then a happy, happy face. This minifigure also has two different sleeves, which I believe is movie accurate. And comes with a custom hairpiece. Next up, we have the clone pilot. Um, this, I believe, is the only clone pilot that is not from the Clone Wars um, series sets. So this has the regular Episode 2 printing on it. Has a slightly different uh, respirator pack than the 501st respirator and pilot that I have. Other than that, it has very standard clone printing. This uh, minifigure comes with a pistol blaster and also sports the regular angry clone stormtrooper face. After that, we have Padawan Anakin Skywalker, who has the Padawan braid down on his torso printing there. He is also sporting a green lightsaber which is very different than his traditional blue lightsaber that you see in later movies and in the Clone Wars series. After that, there is the episode two Obi-Wan Kenobi, which is slightly different than the Clone Wars and episode three Obi-Wan Kenobi minifigures. This one is sporting slightly longer, uh, longer hair that is shown in episode two. Um, has very nice printing on the robes and also has a blue lightsaber. For, I'm sure many of you can see, this is slightly modified. Most of the details that I've changed are very minor and the set is still very much the same. So originally, this is set 75021. It was part of the summer 2013. Uh, line of Star Wars Lego sets. It hit US shelves at $119.99. Um, I remember picking it up for about $110, um, but that was slightly after it came out. It has 1,175 pieces. However, now um, it probably has around 1,200 pieces, just from little added details, but you know, that's, that's a rough estimate. Let's move on to the features of this set. So this set, first off, features 
uh, two rows of flick fire missiles here. And these are the original flick fire missiles, not the just the spring loaded shooters. I don't, I personally don't care for them, but uh, I prefer the old flick fire missiles, and these just kind of pop out. And you can shoot them like that. You know, in the in the movie and in the Clone Wars series, these are actually the rocket launchers. Um, due to building techniques at the time and just overall playability, these are not um, active rocket shooters, <laughs> which is kind of a bummer. Now that we move around to the side, here we have we have these ball turrets here. Um, which you can fit a minifigure inside right there. However, in canon and in the Clone Wars series, these are not manned by anybody. This is just a playability feature that was included in the set. Now moving around to the front of the set, you have these two rotating forward ball turrets, which are, uh, their connections are so much better than earlier gunships. You've also got two cockpits here for a pilot and possibly a gunner or a navigator and this has no practical use you can take off there we go you can take off the top piece there and open this up but again this serves no purpose this is not the intent this was just to get the angle right and i honestly gotta say for a for a playset I think they did a great job on the cockpit um, detail here. It looks really, really good. And this brings us to the front side of the gunship. Um, these two doors open up here. I say two doors uh, because there is, in fact, another door on the side. Surprise. Um, and you can just store, you know, right now I have two crates in here. You'll probably see it's tiled in there um yeah you can just stick your ordnance or your crates or in the original set it comes with extra flick fire missiles i just decided to take those out i wasn't really a fan of the extra missiles in there but you can close that up now we come to the side of the gunship uh these doors open up just like this you've got a small little tab that you can pull back and that pulls the doors back sadly on this version uh like all the other versions the doors don't close fully that's um it's a little sad but it does not take away from the set in any way shape or form you're gonna open up both doors there um next up you've got these little boxes and your crates on the side which you can just store whatever in. It doesn't matter. It doesn't come with anything in them. It's totally up to you. Now we move to the rear of the gunship. You've got the rear facing laser cannon, uh, rear turret here. And this is, uh, this is canon. This is actually in the series and in the movies. Um, sadly, you don't see it ever fire. I kind of wish Kind of wish this was used. I think that'd be cool to see. Uh, we have just a back kind of storage area. I just put a little blaster in there just because. Um, coming around to the side, you still have the same same ball turret here. And uh, I decided to take off the Republic insignia here. So that was just a personal preference of mine. I just kind of wanted it to be an unmarked uh, gunship. However, if you wanted it to have its Republic insignia, it just snaps on right there. This is just a regular circle tile with a Republic insignia sticker there. I tend to like it just with the wing. I feel it covers up that nice, that gray fairly well and gives it some nice, nice texture to it. So, now let's get into what I've done to it. Uh, for those of you who know this set, I'm sure you have noticed that this is not, that is not what's supposed to be there. Um, I added this, and this is in the Clone Wars series. This kind of uh, spot here 
and um, I just didn't really like the doorway. Um, this is purely just my preference. I just added this because I thought it added some nice detail to the gunship. I've also taken out the turrets that snap in right here. I just didn't really like them. I didn't like the detail with them. Um, I just thought they kind of took up too much space that I wanted to have inside the gunship. So now they, you know, don't take up as much space. I also kind of wanted to make this more of a Clone Wars series gunship. Um, so I still retain the colors from the original uh, set. However, um, at this point, I've started to add my own figures in the into the set just as a personal uh, preference and you can do this if if you have the if you have the mini figures so I've got two 501st pilots that I've just snapped in there and then you can just set more 501st or 501st troopers in the area of the gunship and you can just set you know however many troopers you have in there based on how many you've got i have you know just a couple here but i was just trying to keep the kind of clone wars gunship instead of the episode 2 gunship retaining still the episode 2 colors um and these are just the uh grand army of the republic colors but um i might order some parts and make this completely a 501st gunship. I'm not sure if that's really the route I wanna take.